Whole genome sequencing refers to a group of technologies whose goal is to identify the precise sequence of all of the genes in a cell. And in our case, we're particularly interested in the genes in a cancer cell. Now, this kind of technology might seem familiar to people who watch crime shows on TV because on those shows, you put someone's DNA into a machine and you get their sequence out. But that really was science fiction up until a couple of years ago. And in the last few years, uh, there have been more than a hundred cancers in which all of the genes have been sequenced. Uh, most of those have been done in Hopkins, but um, this is really a, a worldwide effort. Before, we really had only a, a very partial view uh, of what the genome of the cancer looked like. Um, we knew that the genome was the key to cancers. Genetic alterations are what drives tumors. That has become clear in the last 20 years. But we really didn't know how many alterations there were and the full extent of those alterations. Now that we do know that, we hope that this will initiate a new era that will not only illuminate research, but also lead to better therapies and, at least as importantly, better diagnostics. Genome sequencing is, in a sense, the epitome of personalized medicine. Because each individual's genome is unique, that is, it's very personal, no two individuals share the same genome. And within the near future, all patients that come to Hopkins, as well as to other advanced institutions, will have their DNA in their cancers completely sequenced. All of the genes will be identified and the precise sequence obtained. And this will hopefully allow us to design therapies that are very personal, geared to the alterations within each patient's tumor. Our team's newest study, published in Science Translational Medicine, is an excellent example of uh, the kinds of approaches that can be used based on genomic sequencing. In this case, the idea will be to develop markers that are particularly found and only found in a given patient's tumor, and then use that marker to follow the progress of disease, that is, whether the patient has been cured or whether the patient may need further therapy. There are many different kinds of cancers, and each cancer in each patient is different from any other cancer in any other patient. So this is a, an extremely difficult problem, which we're just coming to grips with. However, I'm confident now that the disease is understood, at least in its basic form, progress will be made. That's also a lesson from history. Once you understand the disease, it's only a matter of time before that disease can be conquered. <laughs>